Hi, welcome to Peace Donkeys. Today I'm going to show you how to make these dog collars. Um, this is the modified um, sanctified with the center, center chain stitch in the middle. And as you can see, that's quite an effective looking dog collar. They look really quite nice. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the center point of your main cord, which is brown in my case. And we're going to attach it to the dog buckle. So you're going to put it up through the middle like that, then over the other side, bring it around. Just make sure that it's through that part. I've done a mistake in the past where I've had both strands over one side where really you need that um, center part of your dog buckle buckle to be right in the center. Um, so then you'll take the right hand strand and we're going to do a double hitch here so we're going to put it through the buckle back up the top and then you're going to pull it back down through the loop there and just pull all of that cord through We do the same on the other side. Take that other strand, feed it back through the buckle up the top and then back down again through that loop. And I'm just going to pull all of that cord through. And that just gives it a bit of extra secure attachment to your to your dog buckle. Now you're going to need a jig or some kind of way to hold this, um, this dog collar. What I've got here is a quick grip clamp. It's just been modified. So I've just got a screw in one end. Oh, sorry, yeah, screw in one end and a couple of screws in the other end. And that will hold, I'll just turn that around. That will hold my dog collar, my buckle. So, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to measure along from, from that point to as long as you want your dog collar to be. In my case, I'm going to make my dog collar 20 inches long. So once you get to the 20 inch mark, So once you get to the 20 inch mark, that's where the dog collar is going to start. And to start off with, you're just going to take one, the right hand strand, and go across the center of those two strands. The other strand is going to come down over the top of that that strand. It's going to go round underneath the two centre strands and it's going to come back up through that loop. So you pull all your cord through. Okay. And now I'm going to put the left strand over the centre. The right strand will come over the top of that strand, around the back of everything, and up through that loop. And pull that through. Okay, so we're going to pull that tight, and then we're going to pull these loops down. Oh, sorry, we're going to pull them. We're going to pull these loops up. So we're going to pull the loops up. So that we can feed through the other colour. Okay, so in my case I'm using this diamond screen. So pull it up through one side. And then you're going to put it back down through the loop. 
and you want that to be at the halfway point of your green cord. Okay, so you want that to be equal. Once you've got that organised, then you can just pull those loops back down, like so. So that's nice and firm, and you're ready to start your dog collar weaving. Actually, before you start, you want to take your D-ring and you want to put that over the top of all of your um, cord. Pull those cords through. Okay, and that's that's on your um, on your main strands, and you can put that at whatever point along the way you want that to be. If you want it to be close to the buckle, or if you want it to be further, you can we'll weave that in once we get get going. I've just got a, a spare bit of cord that I'm going to attach this to my, handmade, my homemade jig with. So I just wrap that around there, tight around this screw here. And I can just, because this is adjustable, I can just slide that up so that's nice and firm, ready to start the dot collar. Okay, so what we do with the, the right hand strand of the main colour, which is brown in my case, it comes up through the centre of those strands and out the left hand side. And the left hand strand comes up through the centre underneath that and out the right hand side. Okay, so it looks like that. Then you're going to take your left strand of your contrast colour, or your green in this case, and go up through the centre. And then it's going to go out the same side, but through the brown loop. Okay, and pull all of that cord through. Okay, and the same on the right hand side. The right hand strand will come up through the centre. And then it's going to go back out through that brown loop. So pull all of that paracord through. Now you're going to take your micro cord and at the centre point of your micro cord you're going to attach that to these brown cords that are crisscrossed in the middle. So you just put that underneath and then pull all the rest of that cord through. And just pull that securely and now you tighten up these other strands so tighten up the green and the brown just each strand so it's nice and firm okay and we'll just put the orange out of the way for a minute and we'll do that same pattern again that we did with the brown and the green so the right hand strand of the brown comes up through the center and out the left hand side the left hand brown comes up through the centre and out the right hand side. The green strand comes underneath all of that through in between these two strands here. Out the same side through the brown loop. And the right hand green comes up through the centre, out the same side the brown loop. Okay so now your orange cord is going to come over the top of the centre brown strands underneath. If you separate those two loops it's going to come up through there. And you're going to pull all of that orange micro cord through. Then we tighten up the green and the brown. And we tighten up the orange as we go. Okay, so 
So now the right hand brown, brown comes up through the centre and out to the left. And the left hand brown comes underneath that, up through the centre and out to the right. Left green comes up through the centre and out through the left brown loop. And the right green string comes up through the centre and out the right brown loop. Okay, now the orange is going to come down over the top of the brown centre strands. It's going to come back underneath and up through the centre of those orange strands. Okay, and then we tighten everything up again. Tighten the brown, the green, the orange, brown, green, orange. Want that nice and firm. Okay. Right strand of the brown comes up through the centre and out. Left strand comes up through the centre and out the right side. Left green comes through the centre and out the left brown loop. Right green comes up through the centre and out through the right brown loop. Then we go with our orange micro cord in the centre over the top, bring it back underneath, separate the two strands at the top and bring the bottom strands up from the bottom. Okay, so tighten up brown, green, orange, brown, green and orange again. Starting to get that pattern showing through, that centre stitch pattern. So we'll just keep going until we get to the part where we want to put the D-ring in for your dog collar. And we'll show you how to do that shortly. Okay, so I'm about to put the D-ring on. So you just get your D-ring in place and you're going to lift the right side up through the centre of the strands and over that over that D-ring, same with the left side, comes up through the centre and out the right hand side and then you're going to get your left hand 
green cord and it's going to go up through the center through the d-ring and out through the brown cord the right side's going to come underneath everything out through the d-ring down through the brown cord on the same side and then you're going to bring your orange micro cord it's going to come down through the D-ring and then just the, the same pattern that you did before it will come over the centre so at this time the D-ring is also through the centre just as well as the brown cord come back up through the middle of the orange cords and then you just tighten all of that up onto the D-ring. Okay, and bring that orange cord back through this way so that you can continue on with your pattern after you've done your D-ring. Okay, so continue the pattern. Cord up through the centre. Green up through the centre and out through the brown cord. Green up through the centre and out through the brown cord. Orange comes over the top, over the cords, under, split the cords and back up through there again. And tighten up all your strands and now your D-rings in place. Okay, so we've only got a little bit left to go and we'll show you how to finish off when we get to the end. Okay, so I've got about as far as I can go with, um, with the centre chain. So I'm going to poke that down through there and we'll cut that off shortly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish off um, with a couple more of the sanctified pattern. So chocolate brown up through the centre on each side Oops. bring the green up and out through the same side <coughs> bring the green up there's not much room left there now and out through the same side And I reckon I can just fit one more. So it takes a little bit of fiddly mucking around at the end. But once you've got that done, we'll cut off the, um, cut off the strands and melt those. I'll show you that in a minute. I just had to take that off the jig just so that I can fit those through. I'm just going to make room in the middle there for that last green strand to come up. Okay, so I've got right to the end of the dog collar now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip off these brown and green strands and we'll melt those. So start with the green first. And you'll find if you melt these on the sides it doesn't, um, doesn't look bad because it's on the front and it doesn't irritate the dog on the back. And just when you cut those, um, the micro cord it doesn't really make much difference. So we'll just melt that. And then just press that down onto the side there and do the same with the brown. Cut and 
no, we can order. Same on the other side. And then just to finish off lastly, you will just snip off these orange strands. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.